What's up, y'all? Welcome back to the channel. Right now, I am heading to Home Depot to get some supplies to ship out my Rega Masters. I found a buyer. He actually bought from me before. I'm glad that the wheels are going to a subscriber and supporter of the channel. And I am going to walk you guys through the process of how to ship your wheels with tires in case you want to sell your wheels and you found a buyer and he wants your tires too. But before we get into all that, I would like to say thank you. Thank the f out of you for making the Zashim FG Type Z shift knobs a success. We sold out in two hours. Bro, I've never felt more like a YouTuber in my entire life. All the homies was calling me to congratulate me. I've never felt so damn cool in my life to like have a genuine dope ass product and it sells out and then people are anticipating on buying it and waiting for it to come in. Like, dude, it was just one of those feelings that like, yo, this feels amazing like it sucks to say this but this feels like what success feels like and i hate to say that because i've done a lot of things in my life where it's been successful that was the most historic drop i've ever done thus far i, I can't wait to bring out the type h shift knob it's gonna be different design different feel different color it's gonna be awesome man but all in all i want to say thank you to everyone who purchased a shift knob really appreciate it bro like you guys are amazing i got some engine bay accessory stuff on the way ordered last night so you know if your engine bay need that Zashmi FG treatment then I have some stuff on the way for you and I possibly might have some interior pieces on the way I'm trying to bring some dope shit to you guys man some dope stuff that's affordable and it's hella quality I'm not really looking to earn mad profits off this stuff and all honesty with the shift knobs I'm not really profiting that much like, so I'm just gonna invest the money that I do make back into the chan uh, not channel, back into Zashim FG, and then, yeah, we'll go from there. But thank you to everyone who wanted one, who got one, who just complimented me on it and, and just showed love. I very, 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 very much appreciate your play. And uh, yeah, we'll see what happens in the beginning of 2023. To the What your beautiful eyes are laid upon is young man Zosh performing straight hand eye coordination of tracing out the wheel outline on the box. Now if you've never done this before it's pretty simple. Get you a thick old sharpie and then you just put your wheel on top of the cardboard box and then you'd make the outline and then from there you use your handy dandy cut a 3000 blade and then you go to cutting on that bad guy. Well I can't say that. That's what I'm doing. Kind of thick though. You see that? I got yams. Yamage, yam sinos, yam and cheese. <laughs> so after you cut your box, you left with two little circular, circular little rim thingies that protects the wheel and somewhat of the tire as well, because you want to protect your investment. I didn't really record much here, but as you guys see, I lay down the outline traced of the cardboard. Then I stack my bubble wrap on top, and then I put the wheel, and then I put more bubble wrap, and then I put the other piece of the cardboard on top of that. And then we gotta saran wrap that John up, playboy. So let's talk. So I got all the wheels done. What I should have done is go to Lowe's first because Lowe's has the 24 by 50 sheet instead of the 12 by 24. So with the 24 by 50, you cover more ground and you lose less. So with this one roll, I probably could have did like 
two, maybe three wheels. Baby girl, help me out, and let's total up the cost. Our girl just left her studio, so I won't be able to use her car. The Civic is being weird. Something with the rear back wheel. I think my hub is gone or something, because it's weird, bro. But I can tally up how much I spent at the department stores, and then when I get my quote, I give you guys a quote too. But so far, first trip to Home Depot, I spent $44.83. Second trip, I had to buy two more boxes because my I'm I'm dumb and only bought two boxes. So now I had to, you gotta get a total of four. Duh. So I spent four dollars and twenty-four cents, and then I went to Lowe's to get more bubble wrap, and I spent twenty dollars there for a twenty-four by fifty. Now to tally all this up, I spent sixty-eight dollars and thirty-one cents. It would have been cheaper if I would have went up to Lowe's and then just got the bubble wrap from Lowe's because you get more for a little bit less. So that would have been the smarter option to do. All in all, under 70 bucks for my own packaging. UPS or FedEx Supply charge you maybe $200 to package all four wheels. I packaged all four wheels for basically $70. And 70 divided by four is basically $17.50 around there per wheel. So saving money there. Now we just got to go ship this out to my dog, Lewis. Wheels are loaded. Look at that, baby. Wherever you live, I'm sure there's a UPS hub. That's where I'm at right now because if you go to the hubs, it's always usually cheaper to ship from a hub like so than like the little retail stores. I'm gonna take a wheel in there, go get a quote, get all four quoted up and ready to roll. It should be like maybe 65 per wheel. So we'll see what's up and I'll keep you guys posted. All right, so tires are gone, got everything situated. I went ahead and just shipped with UPS because I prefer UPS over FedEx. I just, I don't know why, I just, I don't know, I'm back in the brown. <laughs> but my total was $308 plus the $68 to ship. So 306 plus 68, we're at 300 and, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. 306 plus 68, add the two, from the 68, now you're down to 66, and then now you're 376. <laughs> to ship my wheels to Oswego, Illinois, it costed me a total of $376. That's not bad at all. Oh my God, I forgot to ship the decals. Lewis, I'm shipping your decals to you, brother. I'm sorry, I forgot to ship the damn decals. All right, so we're back home. I got my door locked. Picked up some fresh brake pads, some rear brake pads, and some new rotors, because mines are a little bit, a little dusty wusty, and we're gonna just make them. I mean, I don't know when the last time these things were replaced, not saying they need to be replaced. They just a tad bit too ashy, playboy, and we going from ashy to classy. Y'all know the vibes by now, baby. If you guys can see my rear pad, that thing is cooked. Literally cooked. I'm gonna go ahead and just replace all this stuff out, put some fresh stuff on there. And then keep it moving. Hopefully none of this stuff back here is seized up. I hope not. That's not good. That right there is not no bueno. That's that's just not good. Rotor is off. Look how easy it is to just remove this whole hub, bro. That's what I like about it. And if you ever replace your um Luckily for me, my wheel bearings aren't shot on this thing yet. I mean, it's still got relatively low miles, 147,000 miles. But if I want to do ex uh, put some extended studs, look how simple it is. Just pop that out, shove the new one in there, pop that out, shove the new one in there, pop that out, shove it. It's nice. I really should have bought that before I did this. I probably should paint this too. I wish I had some paint. I don't have any black paint. Damn. But my girl is here, so I might just go around and get some pipe paint. That looks 10 times better. Rear brakes are done and painted with that heater shield thing, but now the back looks great. I just recently did the fronts and uh, yeah. It's safe to say I know while my car was braking weird, my pads are like gone, son. Like, dude, look at this. You see that? And these are the pads that I did my track day with the firm with. And um, yeah, did the track day at the firm. Also did some SCCA stuff, uh, autocross stuff. And yeah, that would explain everything. So that is wraps for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. The Rega Masters are gone. The Integra has no wheels. And actually the Integra is gonna be put on the back burner for a minute because uh, I kinda wanna redo this car. Like I wanna redo the front end, 
probably sell the front fenders, change up the fenders, well, sell the cutouts because the fenders are clapped. Sell the cutouts and then probably hit up Richard and see if he has some full um, fenders for sale and just run full fenders. I have to change up some things on the Integra before I get bored with the car because I don't want to sell it. There are some things that I want to change on the car and just make dope and better. But I hope this video is useful to you in case you guys want to ever ship out wheels when people are like, yo, would you ship? And y'all be like, nah, bro, that's too much money. It, it probably is. If they're willing to pay, then there's not a lot of money at all. Depending on where you're shipping, like if you're in Florida and you ship like on the West Coast, that might be a tad bit expensive, depending on who you choose as your carrier to ship with. All that bunch of stuff that goes into that stuff, 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 stuff. I'm glad you guys could see that it's not that expensive to ship wheels with tires. And I had 17 inch wheels so if you're shipping 15s with like a smaller tire it should be cheaper like it all depends on weight and all that stuff you guys know the deal by now but thank you guys for watching today's video i hope you guys enjoyed it. if you did enjoy leave a like on the video subscribe if you're new here i upload every day even if i'm not uploading i'm uploading in your dreams just gotta pay attention to the signs tomorrow might be a good day i might be picking up the new daily <laughs> for the channel new build series things of that nature i think it i think 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 you guys would like it and if i don't pick up this car then i'll pick up another car hopefully that would really be different on the channel and i think it'll bring a new community onto youtube and a, i don't know new eyes things of that nature we'll see what happens in the next forthcoming video all right but thank you guys for watching i'm sure to catch you guys in the next one I'm, I'm, peace